Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm back with another DIY home decor video today. So if you want to see how I went from that to this, which is a coffee bar, like a coffee and tea station in our breakfast area, um, then do keep on watching. Also, if you like these kinds of videos, then do let me know and hit that like button so that I can make more and turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my videos as soon as they come out. Exactly what I want. Okay, so we started to make a coffee tea station, coffee bar, whatever you call it, um, in our breakfast area at home. And so we popped into an antique and a flea market today to check if we can't pick up a couple of things. Especially considering I wanted a lot of like old tins and stuff. I'm still trying to go for like a boho chic slash farmhouse kind of look for the coffee station. Um, we picked up our main two pieces from Wayfair and now it's just about accessorizing. So we found a lot of stuff there that was pretty cool but I feel like because it's in the antique uh, section, the antique market, it's just a little bit higher price. Honestly, it's not that expensive. We found things within like 20 bucks and whatnot. But the thing is, I'm gonna be getting a couple of different kinds of nicks and knacks. Where is our car? <laughs> a couple of different kinds of nicks and knacks. And so then it'll add up to be a lot of money. So you have to keep each individual item, or rather I'd like to keep each individual item under 20 bucks ideally under 15 bucks where is our car that's my husband looking for the vehicle you can always come back to dollarama for a good bargain always a good bargain a couple of essential things from Dollarama that we need to accessorize our coffee and tea station and the next stop is Value Village to my husband's great dismay because he hates coming here. So uh, husband had set this up when it came in from Wayfair. I think this piece was like 80 bucks and we're putting another single shelf up there which is this shelf which we also bought from Wafer. I'm going to link both of these things down in the description. And I will do a little summary of everything we just bought before I put it up. We're operating on Mr. Ducky. Mr. Ducky has operation. So we're officially done making by we i mean husband making this board in that we bought this board and then we bought these hooks and we hook them in they're resting on nails throughout the border of it so that's gonna hang we're gonna hang the quirky mugs we bought on it and we're gonna have a couple of um decoration pieces up there and then all this clutter down here is gonna get compartmentalized and organized into tins and baskets. Okay, so I'm just really quickly gonna show you guys um, our haul, basically, the stuff that we went out and bought today. So this is all um, in addition to the actual uh, shelves. So the standing shelves and then the floating shelf that we also bought. So we did go to the antique market and the flea market, and although it was really neat and they have a lot of neat stuff, I just felt like things were a little bit overpriced. Not a ton, but a little bit. And I think my per item budget was a little bit lower. And for that reason only, we ended up getting most of our stuff from the dollar store, so Dollarama and um, Value Village, okay? So from the dollar store, we purchased um, a Time for Tea tin to keep some of the tea items in. Life begins after coffee. These were each $4. So this was four bucks, this was four bucks. Oh, sorry. This is our baby, Kiru. His name is Ki, he's super excited. 
to be a part of this video. Say hello to the world. And he's helping mommy today. Oh my god. Okay. Um, we actually have some really retro, really cool looking beer bottles. They kind of look like olden day medicine bottles. And so we're gonna be using those on the top shelf. And so I bought some greens to pop into those uh, and kind of use them as vases. So I got two of these kinds of leaves to give it kind of a very indoor tropical vibe. They were two bucks each, so that's there. And I got a little bit of a lighter one here and these were 125 each. Again, these are from Dollarama. It's a small little um, copper color basket. I'm thinking of putting some of the hot chocolate items in here like marshmallows and the hot chocolate mix itself, so on and so forth. Had to throw in some versatile metal looking stuff in there and this basket was $2.50. We also purchased the hooks that we we hooked into our duck board, which we bought from Value Village. Um, and the hooks that we had purchased were just these and we so we just drilled holes into it and then my husband just screwed in these ones. just to keep a couple of cookies or crackers that you can kind of have with coffee or tea. Um, so that's this jar. This was $2.50 from the dollar store. Um, wooden baskets to kind of hide a lot of the baggage and packages that come with the tea and the coffee. So I got one for tea and one for coffee um, and these were four bucks each. And we've got the Dollarama bill here. It was a total of $38.63. We now for a value village. I love the knickknacks that you can get. Um, and you could get it for a lot cheaper than the actual antique stores if you have an eye for it and you know what you're actually looking for. We got this set from there for $7.99. Tea set. And it's just so stinking cute. I wanted to buy a bunch of like mismatched cups. So these are all the ones, all the cups that I'm going to be hanging up. I thought this was so cute. It was $1.99. It says beer on it. It looks like a wine barrel. It is so, so cute. So this is definitely getting hung on the duck board that we just DIY'd. And the duck board was actually $7.99 as well. We bought that from Value Village as well in this haul. And then I got this one, which is $1.99. This is another one that's like nice and deep and you can kind of just cozy up with it. This was also $1.99. They're very mm, desi looking. They're very Indian looking and like hello represent. We have a sitting breakfast area here. And so the colors go really well with this tray that we have here too. These ones were $3.99 for the set of both. So we got this, it says tea on it and it's an elephant. So I think I'm gonna keep, and it's just a, a, a tin with a cap, and this was $1.99. So now that we have everything that we need, um, and that my wonderful husband has set it up for me, I'm gonna go ahead, prop up this stand, prop up this tripod, and just go through the motions of setting it up. So let's see how this progresses, I'm so excited. So there you have it, you guys. And if you could believe it, the total cost of this entire project was just under 230 Canadian dollars, which is a super cool way to add something really unique and spice up your home a little bit. Um, as usual, if you liked what you watched here, then go ahead and actually subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate the support. I love creating content for you guys and I want to give you more of what you want to see. Also, please leave me a comment and share some of your pictures of your projects if you've ever given one of my DIY home decor projects a shot. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.